Okay, so here's our problem today. We have uh, March Madness, of course, starting. Let's get the pen, right pen going. So we have March Madness. And there are 64 teams at the beginning of March Madness. And the question is, how many games are played? How many games are played total? Okay, so let's use what we've been talking about here recently. And in our explicit value, we know at the end we've got one team, one, one game being played. At the beginning, well, think about it like this. If we have 64 teams, then there are 32 games in round one. And in round, round two, there are 32 teams. And that means there are 16 games. So with that being said, then we can find, we know that our A value is equal to 32, and we know that our R is equal to 1 half. So we can put that into the equation, 32, and then 1 half to the N minus 1. Okay, that's our explicit function. So now we have, we, we got to solve, so let's kind of partition this off. So we have 1 over... 32 is equal to 1 over 2 to the n minus 1. We've done quite a few problems like this now recently. So we know that our base has to be 1 over 2. What we don't know, wait a minute here, let's get rid of the wrong one. What we don't know is what the exponent is. So you just got to try and figure it out. What, how many times does it take 2 to be raised to a power to get 32? And the answer is 5. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And so then we set the exponents equal to each other. So we have 5 is equal to n minus 1. And we have uh, 5 plus 1 is equal to n. And so we end up with 6 is equal to n. Now that's just the number of rounds. That's how many rounds there are in March Madness to get a champion. All right, so let's erase this. Um, and when we erase this, we have the, the needed info. We'll start over see what we can come up with for the total number of games played okay so March Madness problem clean this up a little bit so now we have all right so our a is still 32 our R is one half and our n we know to be six so we have s of n is equal to 32 times 1 minus 1 half, our n value is 6, all over 1 minus 1 half. And that is a big old fraction, which we're going to simplify. 32, 1 minus 1 over 64, that's 1 half to the 6th, over 1 half. And 32, 64 over 64 minus 1 over 64, all over half. Let's come up here. So then we've got 32 times 63 over 64 over 1 over 2. So 32 times 63 over 64 times 2 over 1 multiplied by the reciprocal. So our final, uh, as we reduce it, 2 over 64 is 1 over 32. The 32s cancel. And we're left with 30, or 63 total games are played during March Madness. And that does that. Okay, so let's end this.